When it comes to celebrities, we see all the glitz and glamour. We really don't get a chance to see the struggles, the obstacles they had to face to get to where they are today. Take Tyler Lepley for instance, my first time seeing him was when he landed the role of Benny on Tyler Perry's The Haves and The Have Nots. Up until then I'd never heard of him. And that's how it usually happens, stars just pop up out of nowhere. Today, I am gonna talk about how Tyler Lepley got to where he is right now. But, before I do that, let's get a little bit of his background. Tyler Lepley was born and raised in Philadelphia by his mother and stepfather, who has been in his life since the age of six. He's biracial, mother being Italian, and his biological father Jamaican. As a young child, Lepley was into sports, including track, football, basketball, karate, and boxing, he almost did it all. But, his main focus was football, as he got older, which led him to play football in high school. His football career almost ended, after he suffered an injury in June of 2003. However, Lepley went through surgery, fully recovered, and was back on the field by summer of 2004, and was selected as the MVP at sports camp for Villanova University. Lepley then earned a football scholarship to attend Cutstown University. Played football there until the fall of 2007, then graduated in 2010 with a degree in criminal justice. So, why did Tyler Lepley end up pursuing an acting career, instead of a career as an NFL player? Let's listen to what he had to say in an interview with The Breakfast Club. Yeah. Times like, um, you know, our losses can really be lessons if you got enough, um, you know, if you can really see it for what it is. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, you know, I, I just always thought I was gonna play, you know, football mm -hmm. in the NFL or whatnot, like mm -hmm. since a little boy. You know, went all the way through Pop Warner, got a scholarship and whatnot. But it's like, you know, what I figured out is that it's not always, it's not all about having a skill set. And this really crosses genres anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know the right people, you gotta have the right politics going on. And, mm -hmm. you know, I had a couple injuries, I was getting a little bit of trouble. Um, you know, I didn't end up making it, but, you know, in hindsight, it definitely was one of my biggest uh, lessons. Looks like football did not work out for Lepley. So, why didn't he fall back on his degree in criminal justice? I had the blindfold on me already. So, like like I said, I had I got in a little bit of trouble. And, you know, my degree was in criminal justice. Um, you know, I wanted to be a lawyer until I figured out how much wow. law school was going to cost. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but in that area, you got to have a squeaky clean record. You can't, you can't even have the, the wrong type of parking tickets. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. wow. So it was like, you know, me having a little bit of trouble kind of canceled out all the time I had spent doing that. So I was kind of just in this rut, man. I was in this crazy, like, six-month rut where I was just trying to figure out what I was going to do. I couldn't get a job. I couldn't really figure nothing out. Mm -hmm. And it was really only, like, there was only really one way to go, and it just kind of felt like it was going negative. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. And, um, you know, I'm intuitive enough to kind of feel what's right, what's wrong, kind of put my eyes on what's going on in, mm -hmm. in, in real Lepley got into some trouble, couldn't find a job, was without work for six whole months. Things got so bad for him that he ended up accepting his friend's offer to relocate to Los Angeles, in Santa Monica. There, he became a personal trainer at the gym that his friends trained at for boxing. Three months after Lepley settled in Los Angeles, a producer at the gym invited him to audition for a lead role in an independent horror movie, Slumber Party Slaughter. Though it wasn't a film he was proud of, he made a couple of thousand dollars, in which motivated him to see where an acting career would take him. Lepley said that he had some natural set skills, but he wasn't the best at it, so he decided to apply himself and take some acting classes. And it's good that he took the time out to take acting classes, because it definitely paid off, the man can act. In 2012, Lepley made his first public appearance as an actor, in an episode of the CW's 90210 in 2013, he booked the role of Benny on Tyler Perry's The Haves and Have Nots. Lepley said that the casting process was very long, it took around five months. But, he didn't give up, as a result, he became a regular cast member in a nine-season series. In the same year, Lepley appeared in comedy Baggage Claim starring Paula Patton. In 2016, he then booked the lead role of Jackson in Ringside, in which co-stars included Everybody Hates Chris actor Taekwon Richmond and R&B singer Seven Streeter. In 2019, Lepley was cast as series regular in the star's drama, P Valley, where he met his girlfriend Miracle Watts. Then backdoored and cast in Harlem comedy series, starring Megan Good. So we can see that Lepley's patience and hard work paid off, 
and he says that he is just getting started. His goal is to make it to Denzel's level, to where he doesn't have to audition for any role, the producers will be calling him. And you know, if he continues to work hard, I can definitely see him reaching that level of success in his acting career. Acting is not all Lepley is into. He is also pursuing music, a rapping career. I heard some of his music, and he is actually pretty good at it. If you haven't heard him yet, check him out on Instagram. Well guys, this is it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you once again for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, so that you will be notified when I upload another video.